On March 17, 2020, the state of Maryland went into official quarantine due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So not knowing what would happen and wanting to make sure that we were here for you guys, we kept our church doors open and we continued to serve our members and our community throughout the pandemic. You know, the church immediately pivoted to online services. We right. did that for two months. Right. And then after that, we moved to um, outdoor, outdoor services. Yeah, that? yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we gradually returned to indoor services with reduced capacity seating, mm -hmm. always making sure that we follow the right COVID-19 guidelines. I remember the mask, the social distancing, mm -hmm. the hand sanitizer, the temperature checks. I mean, wow, two years have gone by two already. Years. So much has happened, Harvest. So much has happened. New babies have been born. I got a six month old already, mm -hmm. you know. No? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? All our little kids have grown up. They have grown up. My goodness. We've actually broken ground at the location of our new building. That's yep. exciting. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then Bishop got a new haircut. Wow! I feel good. And let's be honest, all of us has gained at least about 15 pounds. <laughs> More like 35. Somebody say something? Y'all playing, y'all playing. <laughs> so don't you want to see all these wonderful changes? We absolutely do. Thankfully, things have improved a lot. The mass mandate where we are, they have been dropped, you know, so we really need to celebrate all that God is doing. It's the season of spring as well. Everybody is coming out and everybody is... Uh, just getting back to yeah. how things used to be. Yeah, okay? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how are we going to celebrate? Yeah, how are we well, going to do it? Tell us, We tell us, are tell us. setting aside time to celebrate during the first weekend of April with what we're calling the Return, return weekend. weekend. That's right. So you may be asking, what is the Return Weekend, right? The Return Weekend is a time to celebrate our congregation's return to physical, corporate prayer, fellowship, Sunday services, and maybe somebody may even say, Swallow shit, mm -hmm. right? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But really, it's a time when everybody is returning to fellowship together. Yeah, yeah. 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 And the weekend starts on Friday, April 1st, with mm -hmm. our very first in-person fun, fun Friday, Friday in yep. two years. In two years. The kids I mean, are going to love it. Can you believe it? Kids are going to yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be for kids ages 4 to 10, mm -hmm. and it'll be from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Right. Um, we also have our first in-person Friday night prayer service right. since 2020, right. uh, Harvest Fire, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Now, on Saturday, April 2nd, the women's ministry, they're doing something very special. They're coming out and they're going to have an outdoor prayer and praise gathering. Man, just to thank the Lord for what he's done for us during such a difficult time. And of course, on Sunday, we're going to have a celebration service. Uh, all our Sunday services, we're going to be, man, just having an incredible time. Man, celebrating the return, yeah, right? Of I everybody coming mm -hmm. together. And guess what? Bishop's going to have a very, very special message for all of us. We can't wait for that. I know, yeah. I know. So, harvesters, let's be honest. Many of us have not been back to church in two years. Mm -hmm. Many of us haven't attended a church or prayer service. And many of us haven't been able to safely fellowship together, know. you know, hug our brothers and our sisters in a very long time. The, you know, the pounding and the mm -hmm. elbow, it, it can only go so far, right? So, you know, seriously, seeing people who are part of our spiritual family, it's important. You know, yeah, actually is. laying eyes on them and speaking to them directly, it does make a difference. It and it, difference. it helps to reinforce, you know, our community bonds, you know. It's one thing to see people online, but when you see them in person, man, it just, it's just so much better. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I completely agree. That's so, right, so right. here's what you need to do. Right. If you've been attending services in person throughout, then reach out to at least one person that you haven't seen in church for a while. Mm -hmm. Invite them to our return weekend and let's get ready to celebrate their return. We'll have special invitation cards that you can hand out to them and we'll even have digital cards that you can simply text to them so you don't say that you didn't see them to give them a card. Everybody's on their phone already, mm -hmm. so it might as well just text yeah. it to them. Yeah. Now, if you've been attending services online and you haven't been here in person, We've missed you. We just want you to know that we've missed you. So please mark your calendar and plan to join us that weekend, okay? As we start to go back to a sense of normalcy. We're gonna love on you, we're gonna celebrate you because really you are part of, of, of our incredible Harvest family. So Harvest family, mm -hmm. it is time to return. That's so right. see you during our return weekend starting April 1st with our corporate prayer service at 8 p.m. and climaxing on April 3rd with our Celebration Sunday services. That's right. Love you family. Can't wait to see you guys on our return weekend. Peace. 
Spring is here, which means Easter is just around the corner. Nothing can beat the start of spring. This is a season of renewal, a season that can reveal that our year of new beginnings is truly upon us. This is a season that can really reignite our commitment to the Lord. So, save the date for Holy Week, April 11th through 17th. Here's what to expect. We kick off the week with a three-day revival service with Reverend Bert and Mrs. Carolyn Farias from April 13th to Friday, April 15th. Bert and Carolyn Farias are no strangers to Harvest. They're founders of Holy Fire Ministries, a ministry committed to carrying the spirit of prayer and revival to the church and to the nation. They minister the word in spirit and in truth with a divine commission to draw forth in prayer provision of the wisdom of God for the body of Christ. We are so happy to see them again, and we cannot wait to see what the Lord has in store for us through their ministry. On Friday, April 15th, that's Good Friday, we'll have a consecration service where we present our bodies as Christ presented His for our sins so that we would be free to come to God with no restrictions. This is a way for us to reaffirm our commitment to do God's will here on earth. On Saturday, April 16th, the Women's Ministry is gathering on campus to praise God for all the ways He has blessed our church community during these difficult times. And on Easter Sunday, we'll have one giant combined outdoor service at 10 a.m., including our Spanish and Portuguese services. And Bishop Johnson will kick off a new sermon series. We'll tell you more about that in the coming week. So, you don't want to miss this. Now, here's what we want you to do. One, take one invitation card each week. Our wonderful ushers will pass them out to you. Two, during the week, pray about someone to invite. Three, once you've identified that person, hand them the card or text it to them and invite them to the Easter service. And four, come back the next Sunday and do it all over again. You see, it's as easy as taking four little steps. So, Harvesters, save the date for Holy Week. Pray for everything to go smoothly and for souls to be saved. Be sure to invite a person or four, and we look forward to seeing you, your friends, and family right here on campus for a wonderful time in the world.